Uh, hello, respected uh, viewers. It's George Myland here. So um, the big uh, reveal is that Hugh Edwards is the one who's been accused. But this has been well known in London media circles for several days. Um, and we're saying, Hugh, is it? And Victoria Derbyshire even blurted out, Hugh, I mean, who? She was saying on whether it was at Newsnight a couple of nights ago. And people were saying, I wonder who he is. He, initials H-E, or saying, well, this whole thing has been dragon on for ages. It makes you see red and green and white all at the same time, because the BBC is part of our national heritage. It's the land of our fathers. Uh, anyway, because Hugh Edwards um, was first known as part of BBC Wales, broadcasting in the Welsh language. He moved from Kumru to Sais, and then he was the BBC's lead presenter on the 6 o'clock news and the 10 o'clock news, a highly esteemed public service broadcaster managing to survive on a salary of a mere half a million pounds per annum. So uh, several days ago, it, the story broke that a um, high-ranking BBC presenter had been accused in May of paying £35,000 cash for sexually provocative photos of a 17-year-old boy. Um, now, this could be a complete lie, and, and, and the youth himself has come forward to say, no, that's not true, or through his lawyer, I think his mother maintains it is true, is the Sun's lead headline, and that was known in media circles late last night, the Sun was going to lead with that this morning. Um, and, uh, yeah, what else? So the first allegation appears to be Scotch, somebody else, some, several BBC employees said that he flirted with them. Now, Hugh Edwards is where, married to a female of the species, he's got five children, seem to be heterosexual. It appears that he's leading a double life, was dabbling in homosexuality for a few years. I don't know what his sexual orientation is. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Is he straight? Only incidentally homosexual. Is he bi? Is he primarily gay? I don't know. Don't care. Um, but the, 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 the controversial thing is um, allegedly paying minors for provocative photos. These are not pornographic photos. That would definitely be a crime. But um, these ones, are, are what level is sexually provocative? What if he's we're just wearing his underpants? Is that sexually provocative or not? It, it's, it's questionable. Um, so uh, anyway, of course, the age of consent in England is 16. It's permissible of an adult of any age of, of Mr. Edwards. He's 63 two if memory serves of him to have a consensual sexual relationship with a 16 year old it might be jaw dropping but it would not be unlawful um but what would be illegal is if someone 16 or 17 um uh he was solicited a sexually explicit well, well pornographic images for them and these images apparently they fall short of being pornographic but I argue they're sexually provocative. So that's it. The whole thing could be a complete lie. And they didn't want to reveal his name because then, uh, you know, his, 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 his um, career would be over because some of this mud would stick, even, even if it's a complete falsehood. Um, some people would believe it. And you, you just can't live this down because some people always jump to conclusions and they assume that accusation equals conviction, that there's no smoke without fire, that every accusation must be true and every denial must be bogus. So because when this whole news about a um, prominent BBC figure being accused of something like this. I thought, who could it be? And his is one of the names that flashed across my mind. Not that I harbored any suspicion about him, but he's more or less the face of the BBC. Famously, he's the one who broke the news that Her Britannic Majesty had died September 2022. He often led the coverage of the Remembrance Sunday uh, ceremonies at the Cenotaph in London and so forth. So he's um, held in universal esteem at the British Broadcasting Corporation across the United Kingdom, all around the world, and so on. So uh, he said that he suffered d depression intermittently for two decades. His good wife has stood by him, said that he's currently in a psychiatric hospital, has made his condition worse. You can imagine what a stressor this would be. Some people would commit suicide over allegations of this nature. Um, but apparently he's done things which breached the, breach the BBC regulations. It appears that he broke COVID to meet a young person and so on. Um, so we shall see what um, transpires. And people said oh, there's been some sort of cover up from the BBC. What's the BBC to do? They've got to be fair to Mr. Edwards. They've got to be fair to the complainant. Try to get to the bottom of this. If he's done something which is um, lawful but still unethical, it might make his position untenable. He uh, might be persuaded to tender his resignation. He might be dismissed. I don't know quite what the law is around this, but apparently it's thought that he did at least break the BBC uh, um, code of ethics. So I think his career at the BBC is over. Would another outlet um, find um, a place for his talents, perhaps in the United States uh, or elsewhere? So this is um, roiled um, 
uh, London media um, circles for some days. And there was a lot of internet chatter. You could look it up long before it officially broke um, uh, this afternoon. People were saying, yes, it is Hugh Edwards. Um, what, what else was I going to say? Some of the other um, ranking BBC male broadcasters, for example, Jerry Mavine said, it's not me. And you could rule it out because Edwards was going to be conspicuous by his absence. If he wasn't leading the major news bulletin, you say, hmm, well, is he on a summer holiday? When one week spritches into two, that get more suspicious. When a fortnight becomes three weeks, I think the public would know it was him. There was a newspaper headline the other day saying one in six people in the United Kingdom know who the accused is. So perhaps we should get to the bottom of it. It looks that officers of the law have investigated this, and apparently the police have been concluded that there is no case to answer. The allegations apparently commenced in Wales, and the police officers in the principality, I think, have decided there's nothing about it. The BBC wouldn't even say it was the Welsh police doing it, because that might be indicative that it's Mr Edwards, who's um, probably, well, surely the best-known Welsh presenter on the BBC, Um uh, yeah, I think that they let out that the presenter was male, which doesn't narrow it down too much. So we shall see what, what happens uh, to uh, Mr. Edwards. Um, but he appears to have been hypersexual, um, seeking all sorts of thrills, wanting to do risky things, which is really not in line with his public image. This is why I don't understand why Prince Andrew got into trouble for allegedly sleeping with a 17-year-old Virginia Jufre in, in the UK. She was over 16. Well, yeah, as I pointed out in my videos, that was above the age of consent. Now, he was 41 at the time. Um, there's no proof he had sexual intercourse or any sexual encounter with her whatsoever. He might have done, he might not have done, I don't know, but it can't be proven. But she said that she was pressured to copulate with him. Pressured, that's not raped. I know some people would like to um, uh, shift the bar and say, if there's any pressure, that's rape. Encouragement, is that is that pressure? Asking you twice, is that pressure? At what point does it become pressure? At what point does this vitiate consent? So I think because Mr. Jeffrey Epstein, he was convicted of a sexual offense against, I think it was a 15 year old in Florida, um, paying her to give him some sexy massage. It was not intercourse. It was not oral sex or anal sex. Um, but anyway, because he pleaded guilty to that, there was guilt by association. Uh, His Royal Highness remained a friend of Epstein for some years after, after that. And as they couldn't get Epstein, Epstein took his own life in prison a few years ago, but they could get Prince Andrew. So they decided to hammer him. There's an allegation that went on and on and on and just refused to go away, thinking to say nothing, let the story die, and it refused to die. Um, but uh, anyway, so Hugh Edwards, his, his name has gone public, which has also taken the heat off the other people because suspicion might have fallen onto them. And that pall of suspicion was a terrible burden on the entire British Broadcasting Corporation. Anyway, the truth will out. So Mr. And, um, Edwards is someone who I held in the highest possible esteem and is to do quite at odds with his public image, but it doesn't see sit well with being like the, the, the voice of authority and truth. Uh, 17 is a minor, so prostituting them is illegal. Well, that is true, yeah. Even if the sex as such was lawful, paying for it, yeah, that would be illegal. And I suppose allegedly they say it was paying for in-kind cinema trips, shopping trips, not necessarily just hard cash. Right, thank you so much for watching my channel. Toodaloo, everyone.